What is going on YouTube? Jivy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Welcome back and uh, we got another squad builder and actually before I even jump into that video I, I gotta say a couple things because I've been reading comments. All right, first of all uh, The fastest player build I thought I made it obvious and it may be a little bit of bait on my part uh, That I didn't put Ricky Henderson in the reason I didn't put Ricky Henderson in was just because I I'm I don't know, I guess I'm kind of tired of using that card. I've been using it for quite a while. Um, and I've used the card a lot. And so I just didn't put Ricky Henderson. And instead of putting Ricky Henderson, I went with a guy who has one less stealing than Ricky Henderson. And Ricky Henderson, obviously, 99, 99, 99. I went with Lou Brock just because I hadn't used the card yet. And I, I didn't do well. And I thought it'd be some, something different. Um, but 99, 98, 99 is who I went with in left field. A little bit of bait because I knew I knew you guys would overreact a little bit. But I said it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put Ricky Henderson just because I don't want him in every single team build I do. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, I did a Dominican Republic build, but I didn't even do a born in Dominican Republic build. I did a Dominican team baseball build. And everyone seems to be upset that I put Vladimir Guerrero as the uh, as a starter for Dominican Republic. You guys do know that when the World Baseball Classic comes around, he's playing for Dominican Republic. I get that he was born in Quebec, but he doesn't speak a lick of English or Spanish because he has never lived in Canada until recently playing for the Blue Jays. He's lived in Dominican Republic his entire life. As a matter of fact, other players who were not born in, you know, the country, Dominican Republic, the country they played for, uh, Manny Machado was born in Hialeah, lived in Hialeah his entire life. He's Dominican, played for Dominican Republic. Uh, Reyes, Rojas, Dellen Batances. Somebody else was got upset that I put Dellen Batances as a uh, relief pitcher because he's from New York and he played for Dominican Republic. I'm from New York, and given the opportunity, I would have played for Dominican Republic as well. I even brought this up as like one of the examples. I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, this guy's a rapper. His name's uh, Jermaine Cole. He goes by J. Cole. He was uh, born in Germany. Does that not make him an American who grew up in North Carolina his entire life? I don't know. Some, some of you guys are just really, really weird and don't understand anything. Uh, where you're born doesn't really mean anything. You, it's kind of about where you grow up and what culture you take on in your entire life. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is Dominican and, and does not speak a lick. Literally doesn't speak like any English and no French at all. Now, this is the under 25 player build. I was going to do 25 as well, but then I realized there... There's not enough room, but this one, I, I, I'm sure you guys will let me know who I missed. Uh, and left field, we got Juan Soto, 20 years old, from the Dominican Republic. Ronald Acuna, who's just had a phenomenal start to his career, just absolutely phenomenal. 21 years old. Cody Bellinger, I almost kept him off of this because, honestly, he doesn't belong in this list. He may be 23, but he's already an MVP and just an absolute stud, and it's like, he's not really the future of baseball. He kind of is baseball at the moment, especially in the National League. Uh, and from third to, you know, I, I wanted to make sure we got all the future stars cards. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., uh, 22 years old, Dominican player. Fernando Tatis, another Dominican player, 23 years old, just an absolute stud. Hope for a speedy recovery uh, on that end. Bo Bichette from the Florida area, from Central Florida, as a matter of fact. Uh, I know what you guys in New York call this guy, Big Meat Pete. I'm not with that. We'll just call him Pete Alonso at first base. Carson Kelly was pretty much the only catcher I could find. Uh, I couldn't find a diamond catcher. Actually, those are very rare and even rare when they're under the age of 25. But we got Carson Kelly, who we have used a lot. 26 at bats, 423. It's a pretty good average. Uh, on the bench, we got Nick Sensel, who can play literally anywhere. He's the only card who's over 26, but this is a future card. So I believe it's two or three years ahead. He is 24, I believe. Uh, Brandon Rogers, also from my area, uh, played for a rival high school, but that was after my time, 25 years old. Glaber Torres, another one of those guys who's kind of already doing his thing and more now in baseball than the future. Eloy Jimenez, 25. Actually, now that I think about it, he is 25, so we can go ahead and substitute him for the last card. And so is Austin Riley. All right, so this is 25 and under. There's a couple of these guys. No, no, no. These are futures cards. Never mind. They're both two years younger than what it says. I was going to go ahead and substitute him because there's only one card I didn't have room for. Uh, and that was 89 over or 88 overall, Keston Hira from California. Pretty good little second baseman, but I do got Bo Bichette playing second base. Uh, just because I definitely wanted to get Bo and Vladdy playing with uh, Fernando Tatis. All right, so we got a pretty interesting lineup. I like this. I think this is a team that uh, we're about to force a rage quit, and we're definitely going to hit some home runs. A lot of power on the squad. 95-80 there. 
Acuna's got plus 11 today, so that puts him at 89.95. Uh, Cody Bellinger, 94.99 today. Pete Alonso, 125 max out from both sides. That's a home run derby one. Bo Bichette, who's been killing it so far, 70.83. Fernando Tatis, uh, I I like this card. Uh, in my World Series wheel team, that got card just rates. And of course, future star Vladdy with 101.96 power. And then even Carson Kelly's got a decent pop versus lefty at 89. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look to try to get everyone into the lineup one way or another. Maybe we'll split the game in half. Who knows? All right, here we go. We are the home team, so we'll play in Yankee Stadium. Haven't played here in a long time. Bob Gibson mirror match. We got Ricky Henderson, Tony Gwynn, Josh Donaldson, Frank Thomas, Canope, Tillowitzki. I'm probably gonna have to get Tillowitzki and Car going to build soon. Johnny Bench, Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, and we got this, all right? We don't, we, got, we don't have as nearly as much of a high overall team as my opponent, but we're going to do some work versus Bob Gibson. Just because it's before the game started, I'll accept. All right, we are home. New York versus New York, even though I'm not in New York. We got CeCe Sabathia versus Corey Kluber. I got CeCe Sabathia for a completely different build. Uh, Ty Cobb, Willie Mays, Ken Griffey Jr., Roger Hornsby, George Brett, Cal Ripken, Frank Thomas, Pudge, and Corey Kluber on the mound. I'm about to rock my opponent, and truth be told, I didn't even set up a lineup. I just realized that it don't really matter. This lineup can hit one through nine, including CC. I definitely got CC for my next video, but that's okay. We'll use the sinker baller today in New York, of course. When you're the home fielder, you use the card in the uh, stadium for the team you plays for. You get plus 10 to all attributes. And it's quickly 0-2, and, and of course, CC Sabathia versus Ty Cobb. Let's not miss. Let's hit a good spot. That's a good fastball in a good spot, but he got a lot of it. Bellinger is there for the first out of the game. They say that short porch, but it's like, you can't hit it out there. You didn't deserve to hit it out anywhere. Millie Bays is going to pop out to the first baseman. Pete Alonzo is there, and he's going to make the play. We quickly got two outs. I think it's pretty cool. We got a good mix up. All right. We got a we got a old pitcher on the mound with a bunch of young guys playing defense for him. This doesn't get any better than that. Okay. This is the future of baseball. Getting a little pep talk from the old guy, CeCe. And even this card is CeCe. I think it's a couple years ago. So it's a couple years younger. Nice take on the sinker. And it is two and one to the kid. One slider here. That's a good pitch in a good spot. It is quickly two and two. You can put him away on the 10th pitch of the inning with a good slider here. We're going to get a good one. We got him. Cody Pellinger, our leadoff hitter. I should probably, probably should have set up a lineup. But truth be told, it's perfectly fine. Back to the mound. Kluber sets his feet. Fires to first. That pitch must have broken a lot more than I expected to because, yeah, broke right under us with the sinker for a quick first out. Vladdy Jr., first pitch curveball. We're going to go ahead and take that. Not looking for off-speed first pitch. We're looking for that fastball to turn and burn. That's a good one. Cutter, but it's away. Pitch inside. Turn the hits. Nice play up the middle. We get robbed of a base hit on a diving play. We smoked that one. Probably could have got it uh, if we would have pulled off. No. Good timing somehow. Hit it up the middle and just a good play. We got Pete Alonzo up next. And we swing at a first pitch curveball after I tell myself not to. Luckily for us, we were late. That, we weren't going to do much with that. Yes, sir. Pete Alonzo, deep to left. What deck? Oh, I thought it was going to hit a deck. Ah, oh, deep blast to left by Pete Alonzo. And we're on the board. The youngins, the young bloods getting it done. That one's ripped to right field. Nice hitting. Nice hitting by Ronald Acuna Jr. A two-out single to right after the big fly. And we'll keep it going. We got Soto up. That one's ripped right at the first baseman. Who's going to go the long way to second for the final out of the inning. Interesting. Caught too much plate. Caught too much plate. Off the foul pole for a home run. Cal Ripken didn't even know he could do that, to be honest. Not where I wanted that first pitch slider. and We definitely paid the price. Got to be sure we work our off-speed pitches. Definitely didn't put that great of a swing on it. But that caught a lot of plate, and it got hammered. We got Frank Thomas to deal with, so this inning is not over. Let's go fastball in and hit a good spot. It is ripped. 
to right field very late on that swing but he got good wood on it and he fights it off to right for a two out base hit second two out hit of the inning just like me late on that let's go the short way nice play by vladdy and we get the final out of the inning no i'm tired of that first of all we shouldn't be playing that far in, man. I, I don't care who's at the bat. I'd prefer them bunt than give up that hit. Oh, and then not to throw a strike to start the next at bat. CC's got a good pick off, so we should pick this guy off, no? Is there an actual attribute that controls this? I don't know. And he's going to steal the base anyways by plenty. Oh, that CC Sabathia took way too long to deliver that. Oh, no! That's a joke. Bro, that's got to be a joke. That has got to be a joke. That's got to be a joke, man. Got him. Let's go ahead and try to strand this runner. We got to get through one more guy. George Brett on deck. We might pitch around a little bit around Robert or Rogers. Fastball up. Ball one. Big strikeout versus Griffey, but still got a runner on third. The block behind the plate. Oh, with the ground ball that got passed by the third baseman to start. Oh, just disgusting animations, man. Just old lays from, from a, oh, come on. He's not that bad. He's not that bad defensively. We got to strand this runner and get through George Brett. Lefty, lefty. This is going to be it. We're going to go the short way. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, I mean. Come on, man. Vladdy and Fernando Tatis making an error in the same inning. Come on. And Ronald Acuna in center. Awesome. Awesome. Blow this game open thanks to bullshit. Thank you very much. Five to one. This game should be tied at one. I'm just gonna leave him out there. At this point, I don't even care. I've lost. I've lost all interest in this game. Thank you. Thank you a lot, MLB the Show. Thank you for the ridiculousness that continues to occur in this game. This is some world-class bullshit, and you know it. I was about to, I mean, I was about to say, just continue piling it on, please. All right, our catcher leading off the bottom of the seventh, Carson Kelly. He's going to smack that one to right. Nothing about that swing was good. We could get thrown out at first because the second baseman dove. Late. Oh, okay, could have been worse. That one's ripped to the third baseman. Five, four, three double play. And just as quickly as we got a runner on, it was erased. It is up to Bo Nose to keep the seventh inning going. And that is going to be ripped to left for a base hit. Nice base hit by Bo. Second hit of the day. Maybe I should take a look at the closer look at this card. Glaber Torres, who's been on fire, is coming in for that bat. He had a fastball up in the zone, and I was looking off speed for sure. I don't know what I was looking for there. I wasn't looking for anything. I closed my eyes and prayed to the Lords. We're going to get on top of the pitch. Change up down. And that's going to end the inning. 95, rolled this Chapman coming in in the eighth inning. Ken Griffey Jr. is going to get a first pitch slider and a good one at that. 2-2 two -two to George Bress. Let's put him away with a good slider. He's going to continue to fight and hang on. He's fouled off like 47 pitches this inning. I don't know what this pitch is. That's not what I meant to throw. But well, we throw the two-seamer down and in, and it's going to be, okay, all right. Okay, just making sure you're there. But we got uh, Cody Bellinger back up. We uh, started off the inning well last time he was up, but this time, nothing to show for but a deep fly out just shy of the warning track. Pete Alonso's literally been my only run of the game. And that chopper went so high up. You're going to jog. You're going to jog? Is that what we're doing? We're just going to jog? Okay. In a video game. We 
Dennis Schroeder made a play on that ball hit to center field to Acuna earlier. All right, so that's going to end the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth, down by five runs. Good pitching by Aroldis out of the pen, but CC let us down a little bit. This is our last chance. Kluber's still out there. Only 61 pitches through eight innings. That is embarrassing on my end. Oh, look at that. We pop out on one pitch weekly. Where's my head at been at all game? I don't know. These veterans are out here proving that they got a little bit more than these uh, novatos, these rookies. Juan Soto up. Good swing. I've liked what I've seen from Juan Soto. We just missed two home runs in his last at bat. One one foul. One just shy of the wall. So we're definitely we're definitely swinging for it here. I mean, down by five runs, you, you figure it don't even matter at this point. That's a good swing. Oh and two to Juan Soto. Good pitch. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Down to our last out. And it is a 1-1 count. Carson Kelly up. Can he start the two-out rally to win this? No, because I'm not even close with these swings. Like, that, I'm not... Literally, my head's not in it anymore. I've given up. These rookies, they still need some more time. Some of them need to continue seeing Major League at bats uh, and get better. Okay? So they're not used to seeing guys like Kluber on the mound. And that, I think that's the second blooper of the game. I think I think that's the second bloop, second blue hit of the game. And it's for a double. Well, a single and an error. Fernando Tatis, who had a big error that cost us a lot of runs. And there's that sinker right down the middle that, once again, I do not hit. That pitch is, like, rising a bit. I don't know. And he got me with the changeup once again in the dirt. I don't know. I think I swung at that pitch 14 times this game. GG to my opponent. He absolutely decimated me. Six hits, six runs. One hit, seven run. I suck. Well, GG to my opponent. He came out and put that work in on your boy. Absolutely destroyed me. Even though I did have more hits. No big deal. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed that and want to see any other team builds, let me know down in the comments section below. All my links are down below in the description as well. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, next video, I'm doing something... This is pretty much the team. The only thing I'm missing is the diamond, Miguel Cabrera. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.